One of the most creative and pervasive hacks that security teams have to deal with is DNS exfiltration. This involves taking advantage of the fact that DNS ports are usually open to allow for browser activity. Malware inside the network uses DNS lookups to pass encrypted data to a modified name server on the outside, which can decrypt the payload, thereby transferring sensitive data through a firewall. Many intrusion detection systems can detect this, but a detailed investigation is almost always necessary. Let's see how Investigator can make this much easier. In our example here, this investigation will start with an IDS alert, in this case from Suricata. It can be launched from a Splunk Enterprise Security Dashboard or Search, or a search within Investigator. We start with the alert itself, Attempted Information Link, of course, linked to the Suricata Indicator of Compromise. We'll then drill down further to show the host name, Turris, where the detection occurred. It also uncovers the two IP addresses involved in the exchange, an internal IP starting with 192.168 and the external IP starting with 85.195. First, let's look at what's happening inside the network by expanding on the internal IP. This highlights an asset that belongs to the Americas organization, presumably the source of the data being leaked. Next, let's find out what's happening on the external IP. Drilling down further shows two connections to and from the Google DNS server, which is 8888. One indicating the DNS request and the other being the DNS response. We can rearrange the graph by sequence of events and see what's happening here. The eternal user is sending a DNS request to the Google DNS server with the long string as the payload. The Google name server resolves the subdomain in the string passed to the IP address associated with the host server stood up by the bad actors. That is, the one beginning with 110.220. In essence, this results in the data contained within the long string being delivered to this rogue host, 110.220, while being masked as a DNS request. Being able to break down all this activity into a clear picture of interconnected transactions makes it possible to confirm the data exfiltration. One added confirmation would be that this rogue IP address were mapped to a known blacklist. Using Investigator simplifies this complex activity, cutting a matter of hours down to a few minutes.